Another movie with two women that I've always loved uh, might be coming back. Lisa Kudrow is teasing us, Drew Barrymore. Entertainment Weekly reports she recently said she'd be totally on board for a new Romy and Michelle part two. <gasps> Please. <laughs> My favorite movie ever. Well, this comes after, remember, she and Mira Savino showed up uh, at the SAG Awards and did like a little skit together. The movie, believe it or not, is 25 years old, but for my money, it is still one of the best rom-coms, comedies, films of all time. And do you know, this is a true story, I was dating somebody in high school, and we went to go see Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion, and they didn't like it, and I broke up with them. Because... <laughs> If you don't like that movie, it's not going to work out with us. I love when they love the two guys, or Casey Deegan in yes. Drama Club, and they're like, why, did, why weren't they into us? And like, they go into the yearbook, and they're like totally macking on each other. <laughs> I know. I would die for that movie. For that. And if they brought it back, I mean, I, a streamer has to do it, or they could do like one of those miniseries, like, and just like that, give us a few, yep. but somehow yep. it has to come back. Do you agree, you guys? Do you, would you yes. watch this? Yes. A million percent. My daughters and I watch that movie all the time. All right, well, next up, <laughs> we're, we're going to talk about brain clutter. Uh, anyone ever get that brain clutter where you're just like, Ugh, when your brain is swimming with all those tiny little to-dos that we just can't seem to get done? You know, like return, you got to return, you got to repair, that you got to send a text. Uh, well, we have a secret weapon now. HuffPost reports a writer named Serena Wolf calls this list of small to-dos the needle list, and here's how she recommends that you tackle it. She sets aside 30 minutes to an hour every single Friday. Friday, not every day, just every Friday, to blast through the needle list, like doing as much as you can in just that little block. And she says it's a game changer. She slides into the weekend feeling better because she's crossed off her list one hour a week. Could you do it? Okay. I, I want to try this. You do? How do you do it now? I can't imagine. <laughs> do you do have lists? I'm trying to think. I mean, I never stop. Yeah, right? I'm like the Energizer Bunny in bed at night. Like, mm -hmm. never, never. I mean, I... I, I love this. You do? Yes, I do. Because if you're a constant doer, like, or you're totally lazy or mm -hmm. anything in between, I think this could work for every type of person. Because we all have those weird things that we totally escape avoidance, and they just pile up, and then they fester and eat away at us. Like, why am I not doing that thing? And you could just attack it right then and there, but you don't. So, like, two weeks later, you're like, oh, that thing. That thing. I, this would drive me crazy. I could never do the, the uh, save it till Friday. I would think about it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I would think that I was going to have to do it on Friday. My mom always had lists. She had post-its everywhere, e writing everything down. I have turned in to my mother because every day I have a thing next to me where I write things. And if I don't cross off the last thing, I can't go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, you know how much we talk about your mom here on this show. Oh, I know, and my mom. you are the most wonderful person. And oh. if you're anything like your mother, then obviously she's the most wonderful person. Well, she was the most wonderful person in the world, and she always got her list done, too. Well, who here thinks this is an interesting concept, the needle list? You would do it. I just, again, yeah. I think it could speak to the procrastinators, and I think it could speak to the doers, because everybody can't do everything and if you're really bothered by the things you're not getting done, to block out one hour a week, very doable. Yeah, but wouldn't you think about it all week? Like, I would just dread Friday all week long. No, because I'm still doing a million things until Friday. It's like for those little things. Like, I get that even the word needle is like, it just... Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, right? That, that list. That list. You're going to oh, try it next week? I saw a lot of hands raising. Okay. I think we should try this. And I love it on Fridays because it's true. You go into the weekend a little lighter. Okay, I'll try it if you try it. I'm, I'm in. Anyone else want to try it too? Yeah. All right, done. All right.